Get organized. Commit yourself to a positive environment. If your environment is littered and disorganized, spend the time to get organized. It will go a long way in helping you to alter your thinking. Who can be positive sitting in the midst of a mess? An organized environment is elating and inspiring, a great place to establish a positive attitude. Get moving. So you need to get organized. Well, so do we all. But now that you've set the organizing goal, how do you successfully carry off the ins and outs of achieving it? Here are some tips to do just that. 1. Begin with the correct job. This is crucial. Separate your organizing effort into sensible and traceable tasks, prioritize and begin with a job which you believe will give you the most bang for the sweat you put into organizing it and getting it completed. Folders are bang-up tools this could be a littler job, which you know will be completes fast enough, giving you the much-required motivation booster to move on to the next greater projects that you've been dreading. Or instead, it could be a larger job which you know was crying for your attention for a while now, and getting it off your plate will take the most burden off your mind. Take a moment if you need to determine this. That time is advantageously spent compared to the likely hours you may expend on a certain task, only to leave it unfinished in the midst. 2. Don't get sidetracked with micro-subtasks. This is likely the common reason why trying to get organized bombs for a lot of individuals. You begin organizing something, like say your photograph albums, and then begin to look at those photos and slip back into memories. Before you recognize, a few hours have passed, and you might have even had a blast, but those albums haven't moved. A different example would be attempting to organize a bunch of papers, only to digress when you get to those tax papers, and begin calculating your tax refund. Be methodical and operative about it, if essential, set yourself a sensible time limit to finish each job, and make adhering to it a priority. Tell yourself once you're set organizing, you'll relax and spend an hour browsing those albums, perhaps sipping a well-merited drink. 3. Produce a temporary staging area. While clearing up your clutter, at times you may bump into items for which you haven't made a space for and are not sure where to place them. You've two alternatives to deal with them. You can either spend a little time to think through where they go, and set them there. You can group like things together, and assign a basic placeholder for them, founded on where you require them the most. Instead, if you feel that working out what to do with them is taking a bit much time, or distracting you from your total organization attempt, you can set them in a temporary staging area, like a cardboard carton, with a mental note, or a sticky note, to return to it once the rest of it's done. A caution, though, if you begin tossing everything you have a question about into this temporary place, before long it will become one more muddle which you'll finally have to deal with. And that kills its purpose. Don't multitask. Don't be lured to try and get everything done right away. While this might seem more effective, in the long haul it doesn't turn out to be as chances are it might lead to jumping to and fro between tasks, and you may wind up not finishing anything. Instead, assign a task or a portion of the task to somebody else, if that's workable. Do not be a perfectionist. Finally, but not the least, don't be a perfectionist in attempting to fit everything in exactly specified places. Be flexible. Recognize that everything can't be perfect, and as long as you know where your things are, and are able to get to your items with no effort, you're organized, even if it looks like clutter, to the next individual. Now that we have got the jumble out of the way and know how to get organized, make sure you stay organized, and take the daily actions to pursue to keep it that way.